We could talk forever about how amazing it is to finally be headed offshore, especially after all the effort we've put into this journey. But instead, how about we just let you sit back and enjoy the beauty of a wonderful moment in time. Good, right? It's our first time. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So we came out of the inlet, put the sail up. We only have one sail. It's, I think it's gusting like fit up to 15. Um, our little speed indicator isn't working, which happens. Then it starts working after a while. But um, so I think it's gusting up to 15, like I said. And we set the sail, put the autopilot on, and now it's keeping us on course. We have it set to 150, uh, 159. 159. Well, we've been out in the ocean before, but we kind of just went out, played around, and went back in the inlet. So we just left um, North Palm Beach, Anchorage, and we came out the inlet there, and we're taking about a 10 hour trip, if we do an average of five knots, down to Fort Lauderdale Inlet, and then we'll sit there for the night. This is our autopilot. We just lock our helm. It's an autopilot right now. Sails are up, motors off, and it's pretty amazing. Right now, I'm cooking. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, that's a good one. We're healed. I have our sandwiches. We are about to eat our lunch. See if I can get in there. Oh yeah, very yummy. Let me know if you want the recipe. It's an easy one to make, well underway. We are under the sail, no engine, just wind. So uh, you need some easy stuff, and this one was pretty easy to throw together. We are about halfway on our journey, and it's really, really neat. Definitely see why you go offshore and not stay in the ICW. It's relaxing. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something, but we're literally just sitting here relaxing and letting the boat take us. Reese is even tethered in out here. We all got our gear on and yeah, it's a lot of fun. I was sitting here with autopilot and um, shaving started falling out of the steering wheel and I just left it alone. I'm not gonna worry about it. I didn't wake Jeremiah up or anything. And then um, we got off course and it started beeping and he wakes up and what's the beeping? I'm like, I don't know, I just off course, not a big deal. Turns out our autopilot built some rubber thing. I think a belt, well, we kind of cleaned up the shavings, but a belt in here started to fall apart. 
So, um, we were off track. <laughs> but thankfully, you're gonna fix it, right? Well, once I get the parts. We're not gonna have our autopilot. We're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, even though we just learned the new fashioned way. <laughs> It's okay though, but it did make it much more fun and all of a sudden it became not as fun once I started having to steer. <laughs> Actually, the storm was perfect. It washed away a ton of salt that the sea had splashed onto our deck. The storm approached us as we came towards the inlet, so we backed off and let it hit us at sea. This anchorage was tricky to get into, so that you don't run aground, you have to ride the port side of the channel and then cross to the starboard side about halfway down. Another awesome tip we got from Active Captain. Lake Sylvia is the name of this anchorage, and it's beautiful. microwave you can still have popcorn right that's right um we've gone back to the old-fashioned way so we talk about often we're a big movie family yep. we like our popcorn actually i like m ms in my popcorn <laughs> and, um, hey watch watch reese hey you say once it starts sizzling i have to do this oh okay so this is proof that you can have movie night and popcorn without a microwave Look! Come here! Look, it's getting big! Come look! Whoa. Whoa. Hi, Reese, look! Hey, babe. Yeah? Oh, good, you're filming. Let's do a little update. Hold on, Eaten. I'll stop for a second. So we were supposed to leave today and originally the weather was out there, it was a two to three and now it's gone from a four to five with occasional sixes and we're just not into that rough of seas yet. <laughs> so we decided to stay, it's a great anchorage, everybody's partying, it looks like everybody's coming in to party and parties I think are still carrying on from the night before. So we are going to stay here, enjoy, have some beers, and I'm about to go suntan. And I'm actually wearing a new bikini. You haven't seen it yet. No, no, no let's go. Do you want to see? Like bats. Oh, oh. Let's check this one out. All my, um, all the people that uh, watch us often ask me about my bikini. So this one's hot. It's your classic pink um, black and white polka dot bikini. You like my little bows? Uh-huh. One thing we didn't expect when we bought a sailboat is to see how many people are stuck in marinas. Yes, planning is important and nobody should leave without being prepared. But the reality is that a lot of people stay tied to the dock out of fear. Fear of the unknown, mostly. Yes, it's risky casting off the lines and waving goodbye. But without risk, you get no reward. A ship is safe in harbor, but that's not what ships are for. A pretty cool quote, if you ask me. Adventures are full of ups and downs. Some days suck and others are amazing. 
We want it all, the highs and the lows. This is one of those amazing days at a perfect anchorage with perfect people. This is why we chose to sell it all, dive in, and sail away. To us, this is living. Patrons, thank you so much for all you do for us. If you want a little more, then check out our Vimeo channel by becoming a patron.